Strap on your socks because they're about to be blown right off by another great episode of Creative Sweet TV. Here's your host, Mike McHugh. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back again to Creative Sweet TV. My name's Mike McHugh, and I'll be the host for episode number 44, I believe we're up to, and it's back to basics. This week, we're going to have a fresh look at Photoshop, and we're going to create something from scratch. No digital photography, no jiggery-pokery here at all. It's all using layers and our own imagination, and I think... I've got a great little texture for to create, and you could create this as well. But it's also to get you guys thinking about how you can use some of the features in Photoshop to create your own thing. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the tip. After the tip, I've got some fantastic news about the InDesign conference. And if you're in New Zealand, then you can get along and, and do So I've got the dates. I'm going to post a link on my website as well, but stay tuned after the show. Tip. <laughs> Tip. Well, like I mentioned, this little tutorial is going to start in Photoshop. We've got no document open. We're going to go ahead and start a new document. So it's pretty easy to do. Just uh, Command or Control N or File New right there. And just so it fits nicely onto the screen, our texture, we're going to use one of the web presets, 1024 by 768, just so it fits nicely onto our screen. And we're going to work in RGB. Let's press OK. So, so we're looking at this uh, full screen. I'm just going to tap F on the keyboard and then uh, Control Plus to zoom in a little bit. Zoom out a little bit. And you're going to learn a few little uh, shortcuts as we go along here as well. So step number one is choose a background color. So we're going to choose like a metallic gray because we're going to create like a metallic sort of a texture. We need a bit of a color there to get started. So a bluey gray sort of color looks pretty good to me. That's our foreground color and the shortcut to fill with foreground color is Alt or Option Delete. There we go. We're off to a cracking start, an absolutely cracking start. So we're going to put a little bit of effort in here. We've got to put some grain in. So we're going to get started by putting some noise or grain as we like to call it. Really easy. Filter. Whole bunch of filters here. And we're going to combine a few of these together. Filter. Noise. And come over here and we're just going to say add noise. And it's really just a grainy thing. So monochromatic is just going to keep it, uh, as you can see, we'll zoom in a little bit there for you. Monochromatic is just going to keep it a monotone look rather than the Gaussian. So Gaussian, we could see the little buttons I'm pressing just right down here. Gaussian sort of throws in uh, a few other uh, colors in, in amongst the, sorry, not Gaussian, not monochromatic. There we go. Now we can see a few other colors in there. What am I talking about, Gaussian monochromatic? Let's stick it with monochromatic. Looks good. We press OK. So that's one texture. Well, that's a pretty boring one. We're going to now combine this with a blur. That's right, you heard me, we're gonna do a blur. So, filter, we come down to blur, and we're gonna come over and give it a radial blur. This is a great way. Now there's two different sorts of blurs that you can do. We're going to leave this exactly in the center, but you can actually move this around and, and send it off center if you like. Uh, if you don't like that, hold down the Alt to the Option key, and of course the Cancel button turns to Reset. Sets anything that you do. Let's go ahead and we'll reset that right back to the Hey Diddle Diddle. It's in the middle. There is a Spin method, which you can see, uh, or a Zoom method, which we can see sort of uh, does that sort of you know, space kind of effect. The spin is what we're after. Let's do just a small amount of spin. 28, I think. Press OK. We'll spin it around. Let's have a good look at that because you may not be able to see that it is truly fantastic. So we've got a nice little bit of a spin. Now, we need to add a bit of shading to this. We're going to use a gradient to do it. And I've got a really great tip uh, with gradients just to finish this texture off because it's a metallic-y looking texture. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can get a good uh, look at it. 
Okay, come over here to the adjustment layers and we're going to do a gradient adjustment layer. Let's zoom in so you see this. Right under this thing, it looks like a Neenish tart, doesn't it? Look at it. Mm, it's delicious. Choose it. Go to gradient layer. Okay, so default gradient layer is rubbish. We need to do something better than that. So we're going to come over here under the pop out menu. Okay, so we're right under this pop out menu. We can scroll down. There's one here called metals. Metals is the go. I've, I've already got it loaded up and we're going to choose this metals one. Right, just stick with me. I, th I think you'll get where I'm going in a minute. Under the style, there's a few different ways that we can align this. There's the radial, there's the diamond. You have to be nutty to choose that. Reflected, or in this case, the angle. Have a look at that. And we can actually rotate that around. That's starting to look a little bit metallic. I hear you all say. Press OK. So now how do we combine that layer, I'll turn that layer off, with this texture? Well, I'll show you exactly how to do it. You simply turn that layer from normal mode down into overlay mode. And I think you see that we have got a fantastic new texture. I'm going to drop the opacity down just to really get that effect. Wow, that is metallic. Yes, and if you want to move it around, you want to change some of the colors, whatever, you certainly can. Double click this layer over here, and then you can move it about by simply clicking on the screen. You see how I move it around? Wow, make sure it's lined right up in there and press OK. And that's how we create textures in Photoshop. Try that one yourself. You could put it inside some text or do anything like that. Great tip, great fun. I hope you liked that one. Really enjoyed doing that. I really enjoy doing the tips for you guys. And again, thanks for tuning in. So if you'd like to know more about the InDesign conference that I was talking about before, please go to my website and I'll put the address right there. That's happening in June. Let me just check my calendar there. Uh, about the 17th, 18th of June. So if you're over in Auckland, New Zealand, then you can get along uh, to that as well. Incidentally, uh, Creative Suite TV is now available on the Adobe Media Player and I have a feed on my website as well for that. It's a great way to view the podcast, uh, which is now a uh, AMP channel. It's really great. It's got all the badging and stuff over there. Maybe you'll do a little screen grab, boom. And it means you can watch the show offline. You don't have to watch it online. If you're a YouTuber, I think you will love AMP as well. It's an Adobe Air application, which is some of our new technology you might like to do a little bit of reading again about. We'll see you again next week, and thanks for tuning in. My name's Mike McHugh.